Marriage portrays the relationship between Christ and the church. Really? You got married because of the ring? Are you serious? I'm not enjoying my marriage. I'm not a happy person. I mean, my husband is abusing me all the time. And people are calling me Mrs. So I'm really okay with that. At the end of the day, mm, I'm a Mrs. So everything is fine. Really? Please, please. This is, this is also hilarious. Like Next one is because of the dress. <laughs> oh my God. Because of the dress. Because of the wedding dress. Really? <laughs> this one. I can't even believe it myself. Okay? Because of the wedding dress. Just for one day, I mean, one day, to show it off one day. Hmm. Hello, precious one. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, if you've seen this beautiful face for the first time, you're very much welcome. This channel is all about family and relationships. So guys, in today's video, we are discussing some wrong motives that women enter into marriage with. I'm not saying men... We have men who also enter into marriage with wrong motives, but we're not talking about them today. We will talk about it in the next video or maybe... In another video, not the, not the next video, in another video, right? But in today's video, we are focusing on some wrong motives that some women, you know, enter into marriage with. And the rate of mar uh, divorce is just climbing higher and higher, becoming unbearable. And I always say this, that when you make a mistake at the initial stage of your love life, you will just live to regret it. So you have to attack the problem right from the root, right from the very beginning. What motives do you go into marriage with? Do you have the right motive or the wrong one? So you are going to discuss six wrong motives, all right, that I've heard some women, you know, say that maybe I went into marriage because of this, because of that, you know, they are just six. And if you see me looking up, don't worry. I just, I've listed them down because I don't want to forget, all right? So I have them right here. So yeah, without wasting much time, let's get straight into the video. So guys, the first thing, so I was listening to an interview, okay? So this woman said that she entered into marriage because she's a Christian and she knows that um, sex is only holy or good when it is between couple, okay? So she didn't want to fornicate. She didn't want God to be angry with her. She didn't want to become a sinner. So she got married so that she can have a peaceful sex. All right, don't get me wrong. It is, it is a good motive, but it is not all, okay? Sex plays an important role in marriage, but it is not all. I mean, there are a lot of things that come together to make a happy home or a happy marriage. Sex is one of them. It is not just all of them. It is just one of them. So if you enter into marriage just because of sex, mainly because of sex. All right. So when you, the two of you enjoy yourself, I mean, just know this, okay, that you can't enjoy yourself for the whole month without having a break. It's just, okay, let me just go. <laughs> let me just give you a maximum time, maybe one hour. Okay, including the cuddling, the touching, the oral, you know, including it. So let me just make it one hour. So after that, what next? Because marriage is a lifetime thing. I mean, you don't know when you're going to die. And it is only death that can just separate the two of you. So if you enter into marriage just because you are a Christian, you don't want to fornicate. So you want to get married so that when you are having an intimacy with your partner, it, is, it will become holy. I mean, it is good. It is, it is just perfect. But what next after, after that? What next? What are you bringing to the table? What, what do you have to offer? What do you get to offer to that marriage? Because it is full of sacrifices. Marriage is full of sacrifice. So if you're just going in because of sex, you'll be divorced at the end of the day because, come on, it is not all. So this is, this is very wrong, okay? I said this, it is good, but it is very wrong when you just single out this one excuse or this one motive that I'm, I'm going to get married because I don't want to fornicate. So yeah. I just, I'm ready. I want to get married without being prepared. Guess what? You'll be surprised. You will be surprised. Sometimes you just get married and then you know that the sex that you imagined in your head is not even what you, you, you are seeing. So then when, when that happens, what, what are you going to do next? Are you going to get lost? Are you going to get divorced? These are all uh, wrong motives that you have to do away with, okay? I'm not saying you should take, take um, sex out of your mind when you get married. It is part of it, but it is not all, okay? So don't just get married because you want to have a holy intimacy, okay? Just be prepared. Be prepared because there are a lot of things 
that will come your way when you're married. So guys, the second thing is, <laughs> this one is very hilarious. An American program, Steve was just asking women, what kind of ring do you prefer that your fiance or your boyfriend will propose to you with? And a lot of opinions, okay? But this particular answer stood up to me. This woman said that, I want a ring with a very big diamond on top. And so this man asked her again, so what if you get one with a small diamond? She said, I would definitely say no to him because what else am I going to do in that marriage if not to show off my ring? And I was like, really? You got married because of the ring? Are you serious? <laughs> Guys, why will you get married because of a ring? I mean, there are a lot of women out there who can buy a ring for themselves. But sometimes it's kind of um, good to know that someone spends, you know, someone spent money to buy you a ring. I mean, it's, it's good. It's a good feeling. But why do you have to enter into marriage just because of that? And you, you, you expect that marriage to last. You expect to have a beautiful home. You expect to enjoy your life. Definitely not. You are just going to drive each other crazy. You are just going to be fighting all the time. This is a wrong, wrong, wrong motive to enter into marriage with. Okay, this is a bad start. Don't just get married because you fancy ring. You want to see the ring on your finger. Trust me, you will get married and then you, sometimes you, you don't even know why your ring is because you are fed up with it. Sometimes you just remove it and place it anywhere. So you, you get fed up with it. You, you, ha. Huh. Don't get married because of the ring. I mean, you can buy one for yourself if you if you really want it that bad. You can't get one for yourself. Don't just go and frustrate someone's son just because of ring. I do, I do, I do. Just because of that ring, you say I do and then you get into marriage and everything is just upside down. Please. It is so wrong. So guys, the third reason is society respect. So yeah, we live in a society where people look down on women when, I mean, you, you, you are in your early 30s, your late 30s, and you're not married. People start to look down on you. I mean, your, sometimes your own parents can even look down on you. You see certain things that um, you wouldn't love to, to, to hear, all right? So people just go into marriage because they want that respect. They want people to know that, hey, this woman is married. So... Well, fine, you will get that respect, okay? From the external source, you get that respect. But what about you? Are you enjoying that, that stay with, with that man? Are you happy in that marriage? Your happiness matters, okay? The idea here is not just to get married. Marriage is very beautiful, guys. It is, it is a place that you have to feel secure, okay? Marriage portrays the relationship between Christ and the church, so you can't just marry anyhow. Your marriage should portray the relationship between Christ and church. Okay, so don't just go into marriage because you want society to respect you. Um, society to know that you're also married when you know you are not enjoying that marriage. When you know you are not even into that man. When you know that man is not even your spec. You know, this kind of, these are the words that, you know, <laughs> they are using nowadays. So let me also use it. You know, that person is not your spec. You don't, you don't want them in your life, but hey, you know, you are just 38, 35, or 34, so you think that, hey, I'm getting late, my clock is just ticking, I think I, I, I'm getting nearer to my menopause time, so I have to get married for society to respect me or accept me. That is very wrong. Don't go into marriage because of that. So guys, the third thing is because of the title. Mm -hmm. The title. The title. Title misses. I don't remember where I really heard this, but I do remember that I've heard it somewhere that um, someone just said this. Just, let me just quote what she said. Who wouldn't want to be called Mrs.? <laughs> and in my mind, I was like, hello. There are some women who don't prefer to get married. Listen, if you don't get married, God is not going to reprimand you. God is not going to beat you up. You are not going to miss heaven. But just stay chaste to yourself. If you say no to marriage, just say no to fornication as well. And you are good to go. So there are women who don't want to get married. And that is not a sin. So you don't have to see that um, who wouldn't want to be called missus. As if if you don't get a title missus, you are, you are nothing. So don't get into marriage because you want that title, Mrs. I mean, Mrs. 
when you are not happy and people are calling you Mrs. Is it, is it, is it really okay with you? I'm not enjoying my marriage. I'm not a happy person. I mean, my husband is abusing me all the time and people are calling me Mrs. So I'm really okay with that. At the end of the day, mm, I'm a Mrs. So everything is fine. Really? Please, please. This is, this is also hilarious. Like, don't get married because the title is good. It is good to be called a missus, but not for the wrong reasons, all right? Just get your thoughts straight. Don't get married because you want that title. Mm. All right, so that the, the next one is because of the dress. <laughs> oh, my God. Because of the dress, because of the wedding dress. Really? <laughs> this one, I can't even believe it myself, okay? Because of the wedding dress, just for one day. I mean, one day, to show it off one day. The day that you got married, it's not the marriage. I mean, that particular day is not the marriage. That ceremony, just a ceremony. It's just you inviting people to witness the, the, the union. It is not marriage. Marriage starts when everybody is gone and the two of you are together facing life. That is marriage. So, I mean, <laughs> my God. You, 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 you just said yes to this man because of that beautiful wedding dress. So, what happens after that faithful day what happens next like what happens when you get out of that dress i mean you can't you can't wear the dress all your life so what happens i don't really know what to say about this one like really because of the wedding dress come on girl come on come on come on you can do better than this okay so let's get the last one and i i reserve this for the last bit for your purpose peer pressure Peer pressure, peer pressure. Hmm. Okay, this one is not a real story. I was just watching a movie and this woman regretted marrying that man. And she said that I didn't want to say yes, okay? But the peer pressure, people were just saying, say yes, yes, say yes. But this woman proposed to her in public. So people were just saying, say yes, say yes, say yes. So, you know, peer pressure. People were just saying yes, so you have to say yes. I mean, <laughs> yes, because of peer pressure. And sometimes, you know, you are in a group, all your friends are getting married. I mean, maybe you are three, four, five group of girls or ladies. And four of them are married and now every eye is upon you. Everybody's looking at you. You're nest, you're nest, you're nest. So, okay, yeah, I have to get myself a husband tonight. I have to get myself a husband this year. I have to get my, myself a husband this month. So anything that comes your way, you say yes. I use this particular word because, hmm. There are some people in this world, when we just get into contact with them, you, you can't think straight if they are humans or not. So because we're desperate, because of peer pressure, you just say yes. When you know you're not ready, when you know you're not into this man, when you know he, he's not your taste, you say yes because of peer pressure. All of these are wrong motives. Don't go into marriage because of those motives, okay? Don't go into marriage, don't enter into marriage because of the things that you just spoke about, it's not worth it. You will just waste your time. You will just be miserable. Don't go into marriage. Don't enter into marriage with a wrong motive because marriage is a lifetime commitment. And remember, we are representing Christ in our lives. So you don't just get married anyhow. Guard your heart. It's very important. All right? And I hope I have been able to communicate to someone. Maybe you are now ready, getting married, uh, ready to marry. Make sure that you don't have those motives. Make sure they are all good. It is good to admire or think about the sex you're going to have. You're going to have with your spouse. It's good to you know admire your ring. It is good to have a society respect. It is good to, uh, to get a title. It is good to you know see yourself in a beautiful dress. It is good, all right. But don't make it the main motives. Don't make it the reason why you are entering into that marriage because trust me it will be a waste of time all right so as i always tell you guys you can only be the best version of yourself in christ jesus take good care of yourself stay blessed and don't wait to get a reason before you get happy be happy all the time because happiness is a medicine for the body and the soul as well thanks so much for watching see you next time in my next video with another banger <laughs> another wonderful um content for you okay so stay blessed